can live life. What? I fixed it! <laughs> Yo? Yeah! Smoking, which causes loud head flies, and another disease. I fully suggest that you replace this dinosaur. <laughs> no. Oh, you're Here you are again. Did you have time to think of how to behave during the interrogation? Remind him R two D three. You mean R two D two? Wow. You tell us all you know from the beginning. No lie. Confirm? Uh, watch this. It's prank encounters. <laughs> Mark! You tell us all from the beginning or violence. What? You tell us that you fly to the funeral, but the liner explode radicals of green universe. Confirm? I'm not gonna say you're welcome. Not that good? Um. I'm what? <laughs> oh. oh! I'm getting beat. Someone's their beat. You tell us all from the beginning or violence. You tell us that you fly to the funeral, but the liner explode radicals of green universe. Confirm? Uh huh. Yeah, why not? There. Did you hear my mom's voice? What? She, she, uh, she was talking about, uh, because I went to the kitchen and then I heard oh, she was talking to me. Hyperspace. Like, <laughs> she was like laughing. She was like, <laughs> she was like, like stellar liner. She was like, she was like, look at, look at Christopher. He looks all like shredded. Shredded. Like, strong. And I see that and he's like a skinny and bumpy. Yeah, that's what I feel. Yeah, that's what I feel. There. You do work there? How you feel about that then? Huh? Is that her? Do you wear it? No. Oh, you know what? Oh my god. You lied to me. Logo was impossible. <laughs> Could not see the shuttle from space. Tell truth. No lie. Confirm. Don't give up before you're too late. Yup, you're right. Ugh, is that gum on my helmet? That's disgusting. Oh, my chicken. Greetings. I'm your funerary spacesuit's built-in guide to the world of space funerals. Before we start communicating further, confirm that you are still able to read after the impact. God, there's so many turns. Alright. Alright. Okay. 
Splendid. You've gotten into a non-standard situation. The Breath Edge Global Funeral Agency is proud of its impeccable history. However, your death may cause the loss of its reputation. When picking up any useful items, you can stuff them in your pockets, calling it an inventory, if you will. Put any holes. You deserve some words of encouragement. That's impressive. You've almost won. Remember that the funerary spacesuit isn't designed for long-term use of persons or animals in outer space. It is recommended to immediately call for help on the interphone, improve the spacesuit, or become depressed. The waste disposal system is damaged and is operating in reverse mode. The toilet can suck objects flying past the shuttle when the tanks are full. When you discover a new blueprint of an item, it is automatically added to the memory or processor in the kitchen, where you can create this item using the necessary resources, probably. A source of increased radiation is detected. Probably this is the central core of the liner. Be careful, the radiation will kill you instantly in such a suit. Judging by the primary analysis of the destruction, most of the passengers of the liner died. This might be the biggest catastrophe in the history of astronautics, the reasons for which are yet to be clarified. Come on, come with me. You're coming with me, boy. <laughs> <clears throat> if you could just sit, please. Just the antenna, you'll have to go into outer space. Sir, watch this shit. To pee or not to pee.
The shuttle got caught in some larger debris. Lucky. That was a close call. Try to adjust the antenna very carefully. You've got great engineering skills. You have broken the antenna completely. Now you will need some special equipment and interphone activation codes, which are encrypted in the memory of the steering wheel if it's still intact. It looks like the steering wheel. You need to try to connect to it. Great news! Using my ingenious two-digit password matching algorithm, I managed to hack the interphone activation codes. Now all that's left is to build a cryptographic debugging station and reconfigure the interphone using these codes, which will take about five years with your current skills. <laughs> that's mean. Remember that you are still able to become depressed. Judging by the degree of decomposition, this subject died long before the catastrophe. We have a murder here, Sherlock, and we just have to ignore it. <laughs> a hammer covered in blood. The victim is also stained in blood. It is unlikely that he suffocated from this, being in a spacesuit where oxygen is sufficient for an entire full breath. Fine metal, I can get that battery. Oh, shit. I don't know what I need for a battery. No, it's probably equipment like items or something. What? What? What?
fabric. Drink any of this shit either. Oh no. Ice, 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 ice. How do I not melt this? How do I melt this? Please! Come on. Come on, drink the toilet water. Come on. Drink toilet water. <laughs> drink toilet water, come on. Oh, can I drink this? Can I drink this? You lie again. You are here. That means death was impossible. Tell truth. Confirm. Oh, that's kind of cool. Greetings. I'm your funerary spacesuit's built-in guide to the world of space funerals. Before we start communicating further, confirm that you are still able to read after the impact. Splendid. You've gotten into a non-standard situation. The Breath Edge Global Funeral Agency is proud of its impeccable history. However, your death may... When picking up any... Take out the chewing gum from your... Stick it somewhere except for your face. You deserve some words of encouragement. That's impressive. You've almost won. Remember that the funerary spacesuit isn't designed for long-term use of persons or animals in outer space. It is recommended to immediately... When you discover a new blueprint of an item, it is automatically added to the memory or processor in the kitchen, where you can create this item using the necessary resources. Prob You'll have to go into outer space. A source of increased radiation is detected. Probably this is the central core of the liner. Be careful, the radiation will kill you instantly in such a suit. You've got great engineering skills. You have broken the antenna completely. Now you will need some special equipment and interphone activation codes which are encrypted. Great news! Using my ingenious two-digit password matching algorithm, I managed to hack the interphone activation codes. Now all that's left is to build a cryptographic debugging station and reconfigure the interphone using these codes, which will take about five years with your current skills. That was a close call. Try to adjust the antenna very carefully. It looks like the steering wheel. You need to try to connect to it. Remember that you are still able to become depressed. How do you become depressed? How do I become depressed? Thinking out of that abortion again. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna make the debugging station because apparently that was just a waste of time. Like all this shit. Oh, the curly hair. Shit. Come on, huh? Black kid? Why not? Still not here. I cannot be my partner's. Oh, I don't know. 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 I
It's like digging paint. Oh, does he have like going with a two foot? No two foot. He has teeth. There's no data on the condom being suitable for an oxygen reservoir, but you can try to construct a simple balloon for distracting yourself from fatal thoughts.